गाइज आई एम सौम्या थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू मोटिवेट योर सेल्फ और हाउ आई मोटिवेट माई सेल्फ एन आई फील रियली लो टू थ्री टाइम्स वेन आई डिड लाइव चैट्स ऑन माई चैनल ईच एंड एवरी टाइम देर वॉज समबडी और दी अदर हु आस्ट मी दैट हाउ डू आई मोटिवेट माई सेल्फ ऑन डेज वेन आई फील लो एंड ट्रस्ट मी देर आर क्वाइट अ फ्यू ऑफ दीज डेज देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन आई यूज टू फिक्स इट ओनली ऑन द नेगेटिव आस्पेक्ट आई नेवर यूज टू सी द पॉजिटिव बिकॉज I was impatient like that. I always used to want instant result. This is a few years back, and trust me, I suffered because of that in terms of my productivity, in terms of my mindset. So I'll just kind of share my experience with you in today's video that how I came out of that negative mindset and how that has actually improved my life. So please keep watching. Please feel free to share your own experiences with feeling demotivated, and let me know in the comments what are the things that you know end up making you sad, things that discourage you, and how do you tackle them? The first thing that you need to stop doing so that you can stop feeling so demotivated is that stop comparing yourself. with other people i say this with a lot of passion and feeling because i used to be one such person who used to do that all the time the reason we compare ourselves with other people is often that we have low self esteem a person who is very confident a person who is happy with himself or herself will never feel the need to you know make constant comparisons with his friend best friend cousin doesn't matter you just have somebody in your life who always seems to have it better than you when i was in school i was this geeky nerdy kind of a kid who used to have a lot of self esteem issues i used to always compare myself with all the popular kids and i always used to kind of think that i am falling short i kind of started to realize that you know comparing myself with other people is not helping me at all i do not really need to be in a race with any next person i just need to be better than what i was yesterday and that has led to my growth in every aspect of my life if you try this initially it might seem difficult but soon it becomes a habit and then it becomes your nature one of the biggest disastrous consequences of feeling demotivated is that you stop working you stop being productive you stop doing what you should be doing because what happens is that you see somebody else having a great life according to you and you think to yourself that what is the use of what i'm doing i'm still going to have this pathetic life firstly you do not know the behind the scenes of that person's life secondly all the negative feeling that you have in your head is just there in your head but if you don't do what you are supposed to do for example study for the exam that is due in the next week you will actually end up facing proper tangible consequences you will end up failing that exam and you will end up feeling worse than before so the one thing that you need to remember is that while you are feeling demotivated and while you are feeling that life is being unfair you have to remember that this is the time when you have to keep faith in your hard work because working hard in the times when you did not feel like even lifting a finger actually becomes the reason for your achieving something that you did not even imagine in your wildest dreams toxic people especially who pose as well wishers these can be toxic friends these can be toxic professors trust me toxic teachers and the list goes on toxic relatives how about that anyway so i will now go down the memory lane and i'll talk about a time when i was doing my graduation so there was this person in my life who used to be my friend at that time and this was a very toxic person so toxic that whenever i used to talk about something good that happened with me during the day this person would always point out the negative aspect of that in fact once i was very happy about getting a particular question right in my exam that question was i think for 8 or 10 marks and this person literally yelled at me that why the hell are you being so happy about getting that question right that's just 8 marks that does and mean you will end up topping the exam can you believe it can you believe it guess what i did i was like okay bye bye trust me these people can end up demotivating you to such an extent that whatever you feel is good about your life they will convince you that your life is absolutely horrible and they will make you feel demotivated now believe it or not a lot of people feel demotivated because they are single they feel they're not desirable or for whatever reason and this feeling gets worse when you know you open instagram and you see your friends hanging out with their better halves partners boyfriend girlfriend and you just feel absolutely lame because you don't have anybody to hang out with basically you start feeling demotivated because you pine for a person who's not there in your life who has not yet materialized out of the thin air in that situation what you need to do is you need to treasure people who are already there in your life who make your life so happy and those people are your parents 
when you face moments like this just you know go and help your parents do something run an errand do a chore household chore that can bring a smile to your mother's face when that happens you will feel automatically happy your mood will lighten now one thing that automatically makes me feel happy when i'm feeling low and i'm not even saying just moderate happy very happy is when i go to the park for a walk i mean if you follow me on my instagram and if you don't i'll tell you i love posting pictures of me in the park because i'm in the parks a lot i love going for a walk as i said and a lot of times it has happened with me that if i've come across a park that i really like that is kind of far away from my house i still make it a point to you know go there for a walk because it just makes me happy and you should do things harmless things that make you happy so that's a part of that so yes whenever you feel low just go out get some fresh air and eat healthy most of all because you are what you eat if you keep eating junk food all the time that is going to have a negative impact on your mindset and that is going to have a negative impact on your body that can kind of you know lead to demotivation that's all connected and last but not the least how can i ignore this point whenever you feel low read a good book read a book that's going to warm your heart read a book that's going to make you happy now self plug here i would like to say that i made a video recommending books that will make you super happy i link it in the description box if you want some recommendations the kind of literature you consume especially when you are feeling sad and demotivated can end up affecting your mood that can ultimately end up affecting your productivity it's easy to get demotivated and not be productive and all this is so not worth it because we all deserve a better happier life where we are able to achieve things that we want to achieve thanks for watching if you want to connect with me on my social media the links are in the description i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye